What's up YouTube, Alien Rides here. Today I am super excited to show you the latest Bigode wheel. It's your second try at a suspension wheel and they've called it the Hero. I'm super excited to look at the suspension and see how it handles these chunky off-road trails. We also asked you what you wanted to see in this video on our social media channels like Instagram and Facebook. So definitely check those out if you want to. But let's get into it. Subscribe and let's ride. The suspension is the star of the show, of course, and the Hero is the successor of Bigode's first suspension wheel, the EX. The EX has some nice ideas behind it, but the Hero fixes a lot of the core issues. One of the most annoying problems with the EX was that you couldn't upgrade the suspension, which is something that many riders wanted to do to improve the ride quality. The Bigode Hero is a great successor to their first suspension model, with many fixes and new ideas. The stock suspension is nice and soaks up pretty much any bump in the road, but it is a bit bouncy. Off-roading purists might not enjoy it quite as much as it will take some skill away from some tricky trails. But I do believe that the suspension setup is going to let the most seasoned riders tear up the chunkiest of trails. Upgrading the suspension is a modification that many people will undertake in order to have controllable rebound. Without having this adjustable rebound, your shock may simply bounce you off your wheel. In the future, we'd love to work with Bigode to make this a stock offering. But for now, you can purchase a shock upgrade with your purchase at AlienRaz.com. Let's take a quick look at what's involved to upgrade the suspension. So we've actually made some upgrades to the Hero First thing is, we got a new tire. This is the old tire, and you can see here that it's just kind of three sets of nubs all the way across, which results in these channels. And you can really feel those channels on the road, so it'll kind of flop over at the edge there. So this tire is nice, but not as good as this tire, which is the new Duro tire. So it goes from two, three, two, three. So it's much more smooth on the street, and you don't have those same channels. We have also upgraded the suspension, so we have a new DNM single chamber 190 millimeter suspension. It is a pain in the butt to change, but we are able to do it. We're able to upgrade you if you purchase the wheel through us. We had originally tried a dual chamber suspension, which is nice, but it ends up not fitting in here. So we had to go down to a single chamber suspension. But overall, that improved rebound is just so much nicer. It doesn't want to buck you off the wheel. And I'm just loving this new suspension. The trolley handle has a single button on top and is reminiscent of the S18, but it's a bit more improved. So there's a few different states. The first state is here. The wheel doesn't simply just fall over. There's actually a little bit of resistance there. This is basically the new lift sensor. So I can lift the wheel here and it doesn't spin. It also doesn't quite fall on me. So it's a nice little feature. Press the button, lift up, and now the trolley handle is fully extended. The motor engages and I can roll it around. It's a much more sturdy trolley handle than previous generation Gotways, and probably the one of the best out there. The pads are actually quite nice. They have built-in power pads here, and they actually sit pretty low, and they look great. They actually conform to the wheel shape. We actually added this extra little foam block here so we can turn these into jump pads as well so your feet can kind of lock into here. You can definitely drop the pads down even lower, but some extra foam is never a bad idea. Another nice feature on the top of the wheel is this area here. It's like a built-in seat. It just is really comfortable, and you can add some even more padding to make it super comfortable. But it's just a really natural way to sit on the unicycle. Nice. 
I really like the new lights on the Hero. So you've got this really cool outer ring here, which is a daytime running light, and there's a few different modes. So in this mode, it's using the light sensor, which is up here, and when the sun comes out, the light will turn off. Another mode that you have is you can turn them both on by pressing the power button one time. And so now you've got a kind of short wide light here, and you've got a long throw light. So as you can see, it's a really nice and bright sunny day, and I can still very easily read the screen, which is a huge improvement over other wheels. On the screen, you've got everything you need to see while riding. You've got your battery, your speed, the riding mode, temperature, and mileage. It's a quite a nice implementation, and I really love the screen. So we've got a total weight of 82 pounds. It's not light at all, but why it's so heavy? Well, a few reasons. So first of all, you've got these CNC pedals. These are rock solid, super heavy pedals that won't break on you, but they are quite a bit heavier than the stock pedals. And you've also got a strong aluminum subframe. Now this is the first time that Gotway has used an aluminum subframe in their wheels, and that just makes for the whole wheel to be a lot more robust. And if you drop it during trail riding or something, it's not just gonna break on you. So what better way to test the waterproofness of the Hero by riding it through this crazy urban lake. It just goes on and on and it's probably pretty darn deep. So let's see if we can do it. All right guys, that's all we got for this episode on the Begode Hero. Hope you all liked it. Definitely consider subscribing if you did, and you can check out this wheel using the link in the video description below. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.